The FX True Ballistics Chronograph probably is the best chronograph on the market at the moment. Therefore, in the coming videos, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this chronograph and what it can do, and that's a lot more than you might think. The FX True Ballistics Chronograph it's a super easy to use chronograph. It is super easy to set up and in less than 30 seconds you can have it next to your gun reading your first velocities. You can use it as a standalone unit giving you already a ton of information but when paired to the app on your phone you can unlock the advanced features it has to offer and that's quite a lot. When you pick one up it comes in this nice black uh, soft touch case protecting it while taking it with you or while in storage. So let's open it up and see what you get inside. <laughs> When you open it up, you straightly get greeted with the True Ballistics chronograph and taking it out of the box, you might think what quite an odd shape. Now it's actually a very clever design where this cover uh, acts as a stand where you can mount your chronograph on and put it like this right next to your gun. But more on that in just a second. You also get yourself a USB cable to charge the internal battery, which can last you a full day of shooting on a single charge, which is pretty awesome. And you can also use it to update the firmware of the True Ballistics Chronograph so you can stay up to date with the latest features we put on them. Something else you get is the FX um, True Ballistics Chronograph manual. That manual, most of the information that manual will be covering in this video, but it never harms to read the manual, right? So let's put that box to the side and have a look at the unit itself. The True Ballistics Chronograph has a cover over it, as I mentioned before, protecting the screen underneath, but it's actually a very clever design where this cover acts as a double, which is a stand to put your chronograph on. To separate the two halves, it's very easy. You have these two cutouts right here, put your fingers in it and simply take that cover off that protects the screen of your True Ballistics chronograph. Taking a look at that cover, you see in the middle, we there have a quarter uh, screw, which is standard on all camera equipment with a small thumb wheel at the inside. So it's very easy to take that screen and then screen at the bottom has the same uh, quarter connection. Simply put in the middle, tighten up the screw from the bottom and just like this, your chronograph is ready to be put next to your gun and have your first readings. Very easy to set up. Now, when you take a look at the bottom, as I mentioned, it's a quarter standard connection which is most standard on all camera equipment. So for instance, you can take the connection plate from your tripod, screw it into this and have the chronograph sitting on a tripod right next to you in the field, on the, on the range or wherever you would like to have it. So you can have two ways of setting it up or on the stand or on a tripod. So why is the True Ballistics chronograph so good? First of all, it doesn't need an external unit to sense when your rifle is being shot. It just does it by itself. It works in any weather conditions, rain, shine, you name it, it just tracks your projectile. It has an internal battery, so no messing around with external battery packs, swapping batteries. Charge the internal battery to 100% and it can easily last your full day of shooting. It can track your projectiles from 400 to 4000 feet per second, so it's good for everyone. You can also measure your velocities at certain distances that you put into the software. It can calculate your BC at a given moment you're shooting with a given projectile. It has a software upgradability, so it means that you can upgrade your chronograph every time we put out a new software with new features to be used on the chronograph. It has a Bluetooth connectivity, so you can connect it or pair it up with your phone and an app on your phone, unlocking the advanced features the chronograph has to offer. And that is just a handful of features that this chronograph can do. Now, let's take a look at the buttons surrounding the screen and how to navigate the menu. Right, so let's have a look at the front of the True Ballistics chronograph. Center screen surrounded by four buttons, which are used to control the True Ballistics chronograph itself or to enter all the data into the menu. Right below the screen, we've got a weatherproof seal hiding the USB-C connection, which is used to charge the internal battery and can last you a whole day of shooting or to update the firmware on the True Ballistics chronograph as we add regularly new features to the software and you can keep your chronograph up to date. Big benefit over the competitors on the market. Big button right below here, that is your power button to power on the unit. 
Once the unit is powered on, you get greeted with this screen and let's call it the home screen. At this point, your chronograph is not active yet. For this, you have to press the power button one more time like it reads on the screen. The only other button that is active is the one here on top and it reads configuration and then you dive straight into the menu where you can enter all your data straight away. With the press on save, you back out of it to that home screen. One more press on that button brings us to the primary screen of the True Ballistics chronograph, displaying your muzzle velocity and the four distances that you enter into the settings at which you want the True Ballistics chronograph to pick up your projectile in flight. Second screen on the left side displays exactly the same as on the first screen and on the right side of the screen that you can customize maybe to another unit like for instance in this one the foot pounds of energy at the certain distances that you have entered into the menu. Third screen your statistics showing you the amount of shots average low high uh, standard deviation your spread and your average BC all kind of the important information you want from the True Ballistics chronograph. One more press brings us back to the home screen or to the primary screen. Press left on top for configuration, dives straight into the menu. With the buttons on the left side, you can go up and down into the menu. With the one right here, you can select or confirm items. And with the one right here, you can save everything and back out of the menu. First item on the menu, velocity range, as the True Ballistics Chronograph can read from 400 to 4000 feet per second and is basically good for every shooter out there. Then we come to the primary unit, which translates to your primary screen. That's the first screen you have on your True Ballistics Chronograph. And there you can customize whatever you want or how you want it to be displayed. Secondary unit, that's exactly the same on the secondary screen, the right side that is, where you can customize what you want to have displayed. Weight unit, depending if you calculate in grams or in grain, you can fill it in right here. And the distance unit, in meters or in yards, depending what kind of metric you use. Then we come to a very interesting one, and that is the four distances you can enter where you want your True Ballistics Chronograph to pick up your projectile in flight. First one being, for instance, now 25 meters, and with the buttons on the left and the right side, you can go up and down and customize exactly the distance you want. You can do it for all four of them, with the last one right here being 100 meters now, as in the example, but you can go between zero and 300 uh, meters of adjustment. Projectile weight, very important one to fill this one in, to have the correct weight for your projectile that you're shooting if you want the true ballistics chronograph to calculate correctly the ballistics coefficient. One more down is barrel offset. Barrel offset means how far or in which position you put your true ballistics chronograph in reference to your barrel. For instance, the best distance is between 0 and 20 centimeters next to your barrel. This way the chronograph knows at more or less what angle your projectile will uh, intersect with the radar beams and therefore give you the correct calculations. If for some reason you can put it on its best setting, you can always change it right here and the chronograph will know then that it's a little bit positioned more to the left or whatever or to the right and therefore give you the correct calculations based on that. Then we come to channel, which is also a very important one, especially if you're out in the range and you have multiple people using uh, radar technology. It doesn't have to be a true ballistics chronograph, but radar technology in general. Each chronograph needs to operate on a different channel if they are used at the same shooting range. Chronographs that are on, not on the same channel, they will both max out each other in interference meter and therefore fail to read your shots. If you find yourself at the range, make sure all of you are on a different channel for the True Ballistics chronographs or any other uh, chronograph out there to work correctly. But if you want to change the channel or need to change the channel, this is where you can do it. Shutdown time. Although the True Ballistics chronograph has a massive internal battery and can last you a long time, you can still save a little bit of battery life by entering the amount of time when it has to shut down by itself for an inactive period. So you can easily change it with the arrows on the left side. Drag model, for the time being, we got basic G1, G7 and RA4, so choose the one that matches the best to your projectile. We can always add more later on through firmware updates. Bluetooth, also a very important one, as the True Ballistics Chronograph can communicate with an app on your phone called the FX Radar app and give you a lot more information that you can extract from the True Ballistics Chronograph. This is where you can toggle on or off the Bluetooth from the True Ballistics Chronograph. 
One more down, interference. That is actually an interference indicator on your primary screen on the right side, showing you how much interference your True Ballistics chronograph is experiencing. Maybe due uh, to some electrical equipment in the area, some concrete, some steel, whatever. Then you can see how much interference you have and you, may, you might want to reposition your chronograph to get that level down again. Trigger sensitivity, although the True Ballistics chronograph doesn't need an external microphone to sense when your rifle is being shot, you might find yourself in a position where it doesn't always pick up your shot, so you can change it right here to another sensitivity level in order for the True Ballistics chronograph to pick up every single shot. But as of now, we didn't hear much of people having problems with this. Exit without saving speaks for itself. If you haven't changed anything or you do not, do not want to save any of the settings you have put in, you can exit without saving or you press on save to confirm all the settings you have changed and back out of the menu. One more tap on the power button to activate the unit and you get back to the primary screen. On the right side right here, you see the, that indicator level or that interference indicator level that I was talking about. You got two little stripes in the middle with the bar going up and down. The higher that bar is going up, the more interference you have and you might slightly want to reposition your chronograph to get that level down again. As you could see in the menu, the True Ballistics chronograph had a Bluetooth connectivity option. Meaning that the True Ballistics chronograph can be perfectly used as a standalone unit, giving you already a ton of informa information. But if you want to go one step further, you can always connect it through an app on your phone called the FX Radar app. For instance, it's create shot strings, you can uh, save them, you can send them to somebody, you can also create dope charts, you can create custom profiles for different rifles that you might own, and a lot more, but that's something we'll be covering in the future videos. That's it for this video and an overview of the True Ballistics Chronograph. If you have any questions regarding the True Ballistics Chronograph, don't hesitate and put them in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future videos for the True Ballistics Chronograph and I hope to see you back in the next one.